Hello everyone, this is Mike. Welcome to my channel, Mike the Tech Savvy. I'll show you today the beta version of the Android 8.0 AOSP based ROM for the international version of the Samsung Galaxy S4. I've already made a video about the previous alpha build, which was still quite unpolished, had a few major issues, which prevented it from being a true daily driver. Now, let's find out if this beta version can really be used as a daily driver. There are quite a lot of changes compared to the previous build, so now outgoing calls work just fine. The ROM is very smooth in operation and it has no visible faults. I believe the ROM has the functionality to be a daily driver. I'll speak about this a little bit later. First, I'll need to show you how to install this ROM because the procedure is a bit more different and complicated compared to the usual custom ROM flashing. You will need the TWRP recovery to be installed. It doesn't really matter which version because we will flash another one anyway. So start off by powering off the device. After the device is turned off, you can simply press the TWRP recovery combination. So volume up, home key and power button. As prerequisites, you'll need to download a few files and place them in the internal memory of your device. All the download links for these files can be found in the video description, of course. You'll also need the latest OpenGFs package for Android 8.0 ARM. I usually go with the Pico version, just like I did here. To start off, you need to go to Wipe, Advanced Wipe, and here you should select Dalvik system, data, and cache, and then swipe to wipe afterwards. Select the custom TWRP, select recovery and swipe to confirm flash. Immediately afterwards reboot into recovery and then you will be ready to go forward with the process. Start off by going to install flash the ROM zip file by swiping here. Afterwards, you can simply flash the OpenGS package via the same method. If you do not want root access and you do not use S tweaks to tune the device, you're good to go. So simply restart the device. Otherwise, in order to use S tweaks, you have to flash this custom kernel and of course, Magisk or SuperSU for the root access. After you've configured the device the way you want it, simply reboot into system. Take note that it can take a little bit longer than usual, maybe 10 to 15 minutes. Now the ROM has booted up. Of course, I haven't followed all the steps in the installation procedure because I already have some benchmarking software installed to show you. As a general info about the ROM, we have the September security patch level. Memory usage is very good and also deep sleep works exactly as it should. These facts are very important and they can make a difference between a bad ROM and a daily driver. Let me go through the stuff that doesn't work because aren't that many so we can move on to the good stuff. The stock camera works only halfway so you can take pics but videos do not work but there's a really way around this. So I've installed open camera from the Play Store and it works perfectly. NFC is currently removed from the build. The benchmarking scores are as follows. So in Antutu, this is the score that I've obtained, which is about 5,000 points above the optimized Lineage OS 14.1. And in Geekbench, we have similar results to the Nougat Lineage OS builds. Here are the CPU scores and the compute. The performance seems to be above the previous optimized Lineage OS 14.1 build. But as always, take these results with a pinch of salt as they do not actually represent the real life performance of the device. Magisk is already configured for my device and s has super user rights. This app is installed by default and if you 
get root access you'll get all the customizations you want so overclocking underclocking altering the charging currents and so much more you also have substratum support so you can install themes and personalize your device even more overall the rom is very smooth all the apps open quickly and the multitasking performance is decent enough if you still use the s4 as your main phone you should definitely go for this new beta version of android oreo the battery life is good the multitasking performance is very good as well so i do not see any reason not to update if you were on a nougat optimized 9 os build beforehand i'd like to send my thanks to the developers who made this possible i still can't believe that such an old but loved device got a relatively stable oreo build this early these aosp builds will keep getting better and better and do not forget optimized lineage os builds are just around the corner so stay tuned more s4 contents will come thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it do press the like button and if you'd like to stay tuned to my contents also press the subscribe button which will be displayed right here in the bottom left part Feel free to leave your thoughts or questions in the comment section below. I wish you a great day. This was Mike the Tech Savvy. Until next time. Bye.